All right, time right now is 9.08. Let's get you to the kitchen with Brad Wills. Oh, yes, guys. Good morning. On today's Food is Medicine, we're with Chris Recchio, clinical nutritionist at The Whole Journey, talking about five unsuspecting foods that have more vitamin C than oranges. Yes. What? Yeah. I would have never have known because anytime you have the flu or you're ailing, you always think of vitamin C and you want to cut through the orange and just peel your way through and have orange juice and just eat the orange. But you look at the foods right here, I mean, it's got vitamin C, more than oranges. More than oranges. I love oranges, but they get all the press, like you said. Right. Everybody yeah. thinks, like, when you're sick, you want to drink orange juice and you want to eat oranges. They are great, but I'm going to talk about five foods here, more vitamin C than an orange. Well, what, why is vitamin C so important, first of all? That, it's, a, it's crucial. Think back in the days of scurvy if we didn't have enough vitamin C. So mm -hmm. we need it. It, has, it helps us uh, produce collagen. Oh, That's okay. That's the main protein in hair, skin, and nails. I was going to say, your skin and your face, you think about collagen and you're losing some of that, right? Exactly. In your face as you get older, too. As you get older. Okay, so good. you want to just train your body to produce more of it. Vitamin C is a great way. It'll help to balance energy, help you adapt to stress. Okay. It repairs cartilage. It's amazing. We can't live without it. We need vitamin C. But there is no need to supplement with it when you have all these amazing foods that you can use as medicine. Okay. And, and a lot of the stuff you have at home, you do. I mean, like this, the red bell peppers. You Any have at home? grocery store, you can get this stuff. Okay. So, okay, so vi one orange has about 83 milligrams of vitamin C. Okay. So we're going to go over here to the papaya. Okay. One cup of papaya has 96 milligrams of vitamin wow. C. So you would just scoop out the seeds. Chrissy thought it le looked pretty like this, so I left <laughs> it. But if you're going to eat it, you want to scoop out the seeds. And then you could just eat it like that with a spoon or put it in a smoothie. Do you have it chilled or you can eat it at room temperature? Because e whatever, it whatever's it your really preference. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Typically, I keep it in the fridge, so I would do it chilled. Chilled, sure. And then I'll throw it in a smoothie. Yes. And the great thing about papaya is it has enzymes in it, so it's good for your digestion. And it has folate, which is folic acid, the food-based folic acid. How many acid. times would you do something like this a week? Is there a certain amount of times or just whenever you feel like it, it's okay? Maybe every day it's okay to have? Every day is oh, totally fine cool. to have, but I would kind of mix and match them. You know, sure. this is great. Beta carotene, double antioxidants, super good for you, and it Jeez. tastes great. Okay, and then this okay. right here. Okay, so then we went from 96 milligrams to 100 and 128 with cauliflower. Cauliflower. And you looked at this earlier and said, what are you going to do with yeah, that? Yeah, how do you do it? Do so, you steam just, it. You don't just grab it. Oh, you steam it first. <laughs> you, d you could try that. Let me see. People do eat it raw. I don't like to eat cauliflower raw. So sure. I would say steam it and have it with some lemon and olive oil and sea salt. Mm -hmm. Or I like to make a healthy mashed potato, mock mashed potato out of them. Wow. You can put it with some butter and some sea salt. Okay. And now, in addition to all that vitamin C, this is awesome because it has an antioxidant called sulforaphane. So not only are we getting vitamin C out of these things, a bunch of other a beneficiaries of other from things. these foods. Wow, great. The, the antioxidant in here is going to boost brain function and your body's own ability to kill poisons for hours after you eat it. Wow, that's incredible. Okay. All right. Then, right then we have 137 milligrams per cup, the kiwi. And kiwis are also high in potassium, so it'll help you maintain fluid balance. It makes them great for your kidneys. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Kiwis are always fun to eat, too. And you can put those in smoothies, right? Can yeah, put these in right? smoothies and yogurts. Yeah, they're fantastic. Yeah. Okay. It, they're not super fun to peel, but sometimes you just dig it out with a little spoon. That's all you have to do. Okay, and now we're going to have you try red bell pepper raw for the first time because you <laughs> never have. All right, so I have gone ahead and cut and I washed that for you. I got to be honest with you, you every time I order something if it has bell peppers in it, I say, yeah, no, no bell peppers. Leave that out. No. But I'm missing out on a lot, right? Because By not having it, this? Is it the green ones that you don't like? I. Uh, both, All actually. Of them? Yeah, I don't. I can't. Okay. I can't even tell you the last time I've ever had a bell pepper it, in raw. I think I've, I've never right. had one raw. All right, so, drum roll. You try it. Do you want it. me to really dig in here? Yeah, have, have a bite. I with? wish that we. Have. Is there a chaser? You need a chaser. No? Okay. It tastes good. Right. Red bell peppers. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you look scared eating that. Wow, that's not as bad as I thought. No, it has not a sweet taste. No, they yeah, have it does. 190 milligrams per cup. So that's wow. way more than 83 milligrams of the orange. And then you could cook them, have them raw with hummus. In our, uh, on thewholejourney.com, we've got great red bell, stuffed red bell pepper recipes. Oh, really? See, yeah. that's not bad. When you talk about maybe dipping it in something, that makes it a lot easier. Yeah, if you have some sure. guacamole to go with that or uh, some hummus, yeah. you, uh -huh. you would dig it, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Not at all. Thanks for being a good sport. Oh, big move for me today. All right, next up. Okay, we need a drum roll. This is the magic superstar of the day. Thank you. There we nope. go. Three of you. Countertop roll. Okay. <laughs> camu powder. Okay. Camu, the camu berry comes from the Amazon. It okay. absolutely rocks. 
one teaspoon of this stuff, 480 milligrams of vitamin C. One so it's like it? eating six oranges. Wow. Yes, it's super low in calories. Not that we really care about calories with the whole journey, mm -hmm. but high in antioxidants straight from the rainforest that you throw in a smoothie. This is winter time. People are going to be traveling and doing all of these things. You can get that in the superfood section of the health food store. Okay. Just a teaspoon in your smoothie and you will be good to go. That's incredible. Can we use it for anything else? Do we have to put it in a smoothie? Is there any other idea? Is it the best to use in a um, smoothie probably? You could sprinkle it on cereal maybe or mix it into yogurt. Oh, that's a good call. It, it doesn't taste bad. It has just kind of a, a fruity flavor and a little bit of an earthy flavor. Okay. It's, it's really hard to find those fresh. So if you, if you go to a, a store and you're looking for a vitamin C and mm -hmm. you're, you're tired of, like you said, doing the oranges, look for some other alternatives. Look yeah. for all of this. Vitamin C is such an easy vitamin to get in food as medicine. I mean, you can supplement with it, but you have to look for a food-based vitamin C, not a vitamin C that's synthesized in a lab because you don't really get all the benefits if you get vitamin C from ascorbic acid is what you usually see it comes if from. If we can do something like this, I'm going to ask you, if I'm drinking orange juice, what should I look mm -hmm. for in the grocery store? If I look for that bottle of, of orange juice and it says, Mm -hmm. uh, from concentrate, that's a no-no, mm -hmm. right? What, what's the best to look for when okay. it comes to vitamin C and oranges? Top of the line orange juice would be Evolution brand. I love that brand because it's raw, unpasteurized. Mm -hmm. So you still have all the enzymes left in there and you know that it has, it has to be super fresh sure. and it's not from concentrate. But when you, you're drinking all that juice, it's a lot of sugar. And you oh, would never gotcha. eat six oranges at one sitting, but if you're going to have a glass of orange juice, it's it's the equivalent to four, five, six oranges. Wow. So you want to think about how do you get your vitamin C without over, overloading yourself overloading. with sugar. Okay. And then, you know, if you eat the actual orange, you're getting fibers, and that slows the release of sugar throughout your system. Wow. So um, you've got to find at least one of these yes. that you like out of all these. And now we know you like red bell peppers. Kind of. Yeah, but it's are growing yeah, on you. Yes. I, I can't believe I just eat a raw bell pepper. Yeah. It's not bad at all. There you go. So find the alternative. Great to see you this morning. Chris offers Thanks online coaching on our me. website. The whole journey. We posted a link on our website, and you can always go to that. It's fox5sandiego.com, and take your red bell pepper and just click on the C9 tab. <laughs> Guys, we're going to toss it back to you. First time ever. Enjoy. Hey, you're still eating it. That's a nice. good sign. Right? And look at Erica. There's no corn husk there's around it. You just go right in.